Hey guys, welcome back to drawing, um, well, stuff with colored pencils. This is, well, part one. I'm going to be drawing, and I want to take a little bit of a break again from, you know, animals and stuff. But next time, and in, in the next part, or the next drawing I'm going to make, it's going to be an animal, so. Um, I just wanted to take a little break from it, and now we're just going to be doing a nice caramel no salted caramel latte um so I, I really like the reference picture quite a lot of hard things to do like reflections also nice colors as well so i just um drew it out the um black filter of this is right there so you can take a screenshot of that and use that to just draw it on your piece of paper. Um, get your color pencils, get your sharpeners. Um, let me just get my eraser or rubber. Okay, get your eraser and or rubber, whatever you can call it. So now we have everything, get your color pencils too. I have quite a lot, you don't need this much. Just need your main colors like um, a some browns and some like ivory type of colors. I don't know how to call the like color, but yeah. So what really is this? It's a salted caramel mil milkshake, not a latte. So it looks very yummy. Um, but let's just start. And usually I start with the eyes, but there are no eyes. So for the sake of the time lapse, I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. Um, yeah, just work my way up from the bottom. So take your eraser or rubber and erase the bottom. I actually just do just like two minutes ago. Make sure you can still kind of see it. And take a dark gray, a light, lighter gray. Let me just sharpen it real quick. Wait, that's not a good sharpener. A lighter gray. A dark gray, a lighter gray, um, also a black, a brown, also a white. And let me take a quick break. I'll be back. Yeah, I'm back from my mini break. I'm sorry, quite um weird mini break I had. Someone disturbed me, but that is okay. We can continue our little drawing journey. So I think for now, just have these colors. Maybe you can have like... A different shade of gray like a gradient and a darker shade of brown let me just sharpen the darker shade of brown this one's actually called dark umber and this one's called light umber so I think these colors are meant to be together huh um so Get these main colors, get all your stuff, and that's, I think, what we need for part one, or maybe we need more. Um, I'm just going to line them up for YouTube effect. So that's the colors we need. Let's just start off with the grayish um, color. 
to take the middle, so the lighter gray between the lighter gray and the darker gray. And I want to give a nice outline. Okay, that's the little outline. Um, for some reason, I don't really feel like drawing right now. So I'm gonna take a long break, which is like one hour, and then I'll be back. I'm sorry, one second. Okay guys, now I'm in my drawing mood. It's been around 30 minutes, and I think I am now ready to, you know, start drawing. So let's just start from, let's just outline. I need the lighter gray. And let's just outline a bit more. There are, there's one line here, one line here, and it gets a little out, and another line. And then there's one line there. And a tiny line here. So now that we kind of know what the shape is and all that, we are good to start and uh, start building on this. So um I'm actually pretty lost here. So first there's a bunch of um, dark spots. Let me turn on the air conditioner, it's pretty hot now. Okay, I'm back. Um, just do the main shape and all. Pretty simple. Yeah, basically that's it. And then on the other side, You, there's a tiny bit different shape and since I know that this is fully black or this color of gray I don't really have to worry about pressing lightly so I could just go for it Until now, it's pretty simple. Just the sim um, just the gray lines. There's also a few lines over here. I think recreating good glass is actually very hard, and that's why I have not done it on my channel yet. But now I kind of am. So let's just see how I do, you know? Give it a shot. I need like this brown again. And I need to add this weird circle here, this brown circle. I think it's because, you know, the chocolate up here is reflecting down here because of glass, because of the glass. So that's why it's there, I think. This picture is actually from 
a recipe website. I'll put the link below. Um, I've been also getting, um, what do you call it? Bot comments. I don't know why, but I don't. That's a good thing. That means my videos are at least getting some traction. That bots are like, okay, let's comment on the video. But it's also a bad thing because now I have to delete all those comments. Cause uh, there was actually f one on each video of mine, and I had to go and delete each one of them and remove them for well bot comments. And I don't really like bot comments at all. So now it's pretty straightforward. Just do the gray, the dark, the kind of dark gray part of the drawing. And I'm pretty sure it just goes like that. I with a really dark gray, or this is called 50% warm gray. Add more of that uh, warm grayish color and since it's not smooth yet without the white it looks kind of weird so we are going to add um, some white later on but first we need to get the color done but I think white is yeah I think my air conditioner is actually broken because it turns on for a little bit and then it automatically turns off. So that's not uh, good. That's why I was so hot when I was sleeping. Odd. I'll try and fix it. Luckily, no, I can't fix it, but like technicians, mechanics, maybe they can. There's a little bit of gray on these edges. Make a lot actually on this part. And then here you probably guessed it. There's again, Some brown because well there was brown there then it reflected there and then that reflected here so you know reflections are a doozy very weird new vocabulary doozy haven't heard anyone else say use that word because it's probably not a real word okay now that I think we're done with the I think just it's, it's, a darker gray and add a tiny bit of depth in some areas. Just in some areas you can add it to add that depth in it. Now you can take your white and hopefully blend it. All together and this is quite a you'll be patient when using white just take your time and really blend it. Then once you do a different color, which is not gray, just chip it off and then continue doing the white and gray.
I think that's quite a good glass effect. It's not the best, but I think it's quite okay. I just want to add a bit of that down. Yeah, that's an okay glass effect. I think just with a little bit of black in some areas, I can really add that depth. Maybe even outline a little bit. Not too much though. I think that's a good glass effect. Oh boy. Look at that, my phone fell again. Here, so that's the glass effects we got until now. I think it's not bad. I can smooth it a little bit more, I think. In area, oh, the wrong color. I can smooth it more in areas like uh, this. And I think that's good. Now take this color and outline it. And now you gotta outline um, this, I don't know what to call it. It's like chocolate fudge. Now take your brown and first just add one layer because color pencils needs many layers. Add the first layer of brown. Okay, I want to count how many layers it takes for this. So one layer of brown. Now you take a darker brown and add the second layer. Whoa, that's a really nice brown actually. I really like that. I want to add more. I want to add some down here. So this is the second layer of brown. Third layer of brown. Fourth layer of brown. Fifth layer of brown. Sixth layer of brown. Seventh layer of brown. And I think this will round it all up with eight layers of brown. It took eight layers to get that pretty okay effect. Now just outline it, and I think this counts as the ninth layer and just softly yeah there's nine layers of brown there so one add here some tents so that's i think not bad but i am getting quite tired but we ain't stopping so i think We can do until here and then chop it up. I want, you know the same color I used for the horse? Like the white part of the horse? I want to use that exact same color because I really liked it. Oh, I actually have a sand color. That's nice. I can also use cream maybe. Was it this that I used? Yeah, I used this, Petit Beach. So I think with these shades, I think we have many of these dull shades, but I think with these shades, I can um, get a good effect. So take your eraser or rubber and erase all the way until there take one 
sharpen it. I'm going to use cream first because I feel like it's quite vibrant as a color. Actually, the brown goes really high up. So should I extend it like how it is in the picture? I mean, I probably should. So yeah, let's just do that. Extend a tiny bit. Yeah, it goes all the way up to here. Okay. Now take your cream color. And add one layer of it on the drawing. Just one small layer. Then take the sand color. And I want to add a few tints of it up here. And a few tints of it down here. And finally down here also some here as well now take some ginger root color and really add that but that's all I guess and then take your um cream again and go over the whole thing I want some like normal beige color and I want to add the little shadow it has over here All right because it's quite a nice um, shadow I think <laughs> it's actually looking nice I mean, I need to take a little bit of that brown and add this little stripe here. And then you can take a little bit of this um, ginger root again and add a little bit more of that artistic flavor. I said it again. And... With that brown I just want to sharpen it because this will th we're going to be using burnt orchard for the caramel because I feel like it's the exact color of actual caramel and it shouldn't even be called burnt orchard it should be called caramel because I think it's literally the exact same color and it's perfect So just lightly outline at the few bumps that it has. Then again, take this because you erased some of the color. And just add that back in smoothly and warmly. And finally, to end this episode off, I think. We can take a bit of this caramelish color and lightly outline the edges and I think that's a good place to end this episode off we did the little bottom part the glass I like the reflection of it we also did a little bit of the chocolate up here and the cream milkshake thank you for watching this episode and see you in part two where we finish this caramelish area off and bye